We're gonna make jack-o'-lantern stuffed peppers. They're festive on the outside, they're hearty and delicious on the inside, and you can customize the filling however you see fit. Plus, if you got some little ones, this is the perfect thing to make them eat before they go trick-or-treating. Life can be a struggle, but a good meal doesn't have to be. We can make creative, nutritious, and inventive dishes that won't break the bank. We'll eat well and save money, because that's what we do. Welcome to Struggle Meals. So we're gonna start by working on our jack-o'-lanterns, which are orange peppers. First, we're gonna cut the tops off, and then we're gonna remove all the veins and seeds. You take the spoon, you come right up the vein, boom, shakalak. When you're shopping for those peppers, make sure they got a flat bottom so they don't topple over. We gotta make a face. The paring knife is the correct tool for this job. We're gonna create eyes in the form of triangles, nose in the form of a triangle, and then just cut out a little slit for the mouth. Don't make any of the holes too big or your filling's gonna ooze out. Beautiful. That was easy. Now we gotta make the rest of them. These look really great. They're so cute. We've got a whole family of jack-o'-lanterns. Now let's stuff them with some delicious filling. We're gonna start by dicing up an onion. I'm gonna fire up a pan. We got our pan on heat. We're gonna come in with some oil and we're gonna go in with our onions. We're gonna give this a little salt and pepper. So once the onions start softening, I'm gonna come in with my sausage. The beautiful thing about this dish is it's highly customizable. I'm gonna use sausage. You could use beef or ground chicken. I mean, you can really customize it as you see fit. So I'll take my wooden spoon and I'll just start breaking this up. If you get it into smaller pieces, it's gonna brown up a lot faster. It's gonna cook through a lot faster. So I'd say the sausage is about 80% cooked through. Now's a great time for us to add some spices. Garlic powder, cumin, and chili. I do think that your spices could benefit from a little bit of time in the cooking oil. Mix this in. Oh yeah. It looks fantastic, it smells great. I don't see any more pink in the sausage. Let's add some other ingredients in here to bulk it up. I'm using leftover rice here, but any kind of cooked rice will work. Got corn and I've got drained beans. This is smelling really great. I can hear the sizzle. Things are getting crispy and fantastic. It's time to make it saucy. I got some fire roasted tomatoes. If you're gonna buy a can of tomatoes, getting the fire roasted kind just means that you're adding more flavor. Why don't we hit up the package row for some extra spice? Hot sauce! And we'll throw that in. Look at these colors. Black and yellow. Very Halloween-y. All right, I think we're like pretty good here. So let's kill the heat and let's add some cheese to this. I grated this cheese myself earlier. So I'm gonna top all of our jack-o'-lanterns with the other half of this cheese. That's why I saved it. Let's assemble. Uh, I'm just gonna start spooning it in. Oh, this smells really good. Not only are they fun to look at, but this is a nourishing meal. And I feel like it's a really great way to like trick your kids into eating something really good before they go trick or treating. All of our jack-o'-lanterns are filled. We're gonna give each a little more cheese. This will help glue the top on, but it'll also be really fun and bubbly when you take the top off. All right, kids, time to put the hats on and go to school. Our jack-o'-lanterns are all filled. They look fantastic. I know the filling is delicious. Into the oven. <laughs> Woo! These are gonna be spooky and delicious. And these look so cute. I know it's gonna taste great. Let's dig in. I like this guy right here. Oh. These look amazing. They're only $2.62 a serving. I'm having so much fun just looking at it. I mean, look at how the filling is coming out of the mouth. It's so spooky. I'm ready to eat you. <laughs> Give me your brains. Mmm. You know, these might look spooky, but they are delicious. It's a cheesy, meaty, salty, slightly spicy filling inside of a pepper. The kids are gonna love it. You'll be set for a night of Halloween shenanigans, whether they're tricks or treats. <laughs>